Colonist is batting fifth and playing short. Slapper Glued, Avenue Francis, Ruby Green do up for the Snow Pox, Snow Pox, the Snow Foxes of Sephora. They come here today to Wacker's Wheel to take us on. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Let me, let me walk over here. Let me, let me, let me find a uh, hat here. Y'all got y'all got a pick here. Do we want to support the troops version one or version two? Version two. Okay. There we go. Version two it is. All right, we got Rupert Guerra on the mound today. He's got a 1.2 ERA, 22 strikeouts. Uh, game, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, game. It would be really great if you let me have my controller back. It logged me out. What is going on with this game right now? Okay. I think we're back. It's working. Good Lord. We'll see if the real Stephen Thomas gaming shows up. Are you serious? Why is fielding one and pitching is the other? Look at the top left. Why on earth would you want to? Please tell me when I put that though. At no point. Why, why would I do this? Why would I ever? Can I kick me? I just had to kick myself. What the hell is going on? I... I don't even know. I now back to left field, number forty four, slapper loot. There we go. All right. I would choose to count now after I've reclaimed the uh, the game back for myself, my uh, dual personalities, and they're going to get a base hit on the first batter. We're off to a great start with the Sephora Snow Foxes here. Well, it's, I've got my controller, which is, it's purple, so that's player one. And then you got the keyboard, but somehow it like thought that I had split them. I am very rattled. 
We're gonna go to first. Those darn snow foxes. Oh, what was that crap? That ball's going into the dugout. How did that bounce? It literally bounced to the right to dodge the shortstop. And now Ruby Green comes up batting 207. Runners on the corners and the chance for the snow foxes to get on the board real quick. This game is off to a tumultuous start. They'll score a run. But we will turn the 6-4-3 double play. Number 36, Charlie Rayo. Their uniforms are the color that Lethal wanted. So one nothing here. The Snow Fox is early. Rip Dingers will grab that one, throws across the diamond for an out. And that will retire the side. And somehow we've made it to the bottom of the first. Finally, after I've had to kick myself, the ball bounced to the right on a flat piece of ground. And we trail now. Things are great, everybody. Lethal D Feline steps up with her orange and yellow going on. The bat's not right. I see that, Lethal. Sorry. I'll have to work on that. They've got Punchy Patterson on the mound. She's got a three ERA, nine strikeouts on the season. Lethal takes 2-0. 3-0 the lethal. We're just gonna we're gonna watch this one. Mm. And there's lethal base hit up the gut. Gotta put one on, no outs. I don't even trust me now. I had to kick myself. I don't know what's going on. Ooh, they're 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 worried about lethal. Oh, it's too early on it. That's going to be a double play, isn't it? I wanted to steal with lethal, but I didn't want get lethal to be thrown out. And we end up getting a double play on us. All right, Rip. We need you to tie this game up, my friend. Thought he was going to take a curveball to the cheek. Thought he was going to do it again. He gutted that ball. That ball's rolling. Fruitwell is fast. You know, I know I've sent pictures to seven with those custom colors going, and they were all right. So who knows what's happened? Buck Swiner stepping up. 303 average on the season. It's almost like when I created the franchise, it forgot all that. And that is probably going to be caught. And it is. Got an astronomical thirst? Grab a yeah, I sent a lot of people pictures in Discord of their characters. Oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> <Comet water. clears throat> Colonists leading off here as we go to the second. Snow Foxes have a one. Oh, my God. Number 69. He's got gloves, flower gloves. Or she, I don't even. Well, I, who knows? At this point, I think it's just everything's been randomized. Let's just go with it. Now batting the center field, number 47, Gordon Fruitwell. Jessica standing back there. Rip throws over, and that is a 5 4 3 double play. That will bring up Jose Tremendo, 259 average. So I'm guessing their jerseys just don't have uh, sleeves on them. We really need Guerra to uh, calm down and just get back in the groove. But he's going to give a hit up the gut. Two out single. Here's one of Grimace's favorite players, Junior Young Senior. As opposed to his son, Junior Young Jr. I'm actually surprised they didn't get King Griffey to be in the game since they've got this guy. Woo! We'll set him down, though. 
We'll go to the bottom of the second. Figueroa, Stokes, and Tish Ballandu up. Figueroa, he's been coming on here of late. He's locked in, batting 353. He'll take the first pitch from Punchy. Ooh, he'll miss the second one. He pops that up. And Ruby Green will make the catch for one out. I blame my twitching eye on that. Ooh, nice hit right down the gut. She swings at it and gets a base hit. <laughs> so Tish Ballin steps in. Another one of our young players. And that's right, the Francis. Francis. That'll bring up Grizz. Our oldest player on the team. Backup catcher playing today. Runner goes. She's in there. Come on, Grizz. Base hit here ties the game, but he's down 0-2 in the count. She's a K collector also. 2-2. Two two. Good job, Grizz. And that's right. Back to Punchy. She'll throw over the first, and that will end the threat. We head to the third. It's still 1-0 Snow Foxes. I don't think that they will do that. How about it? The pitcher, number 11, Punchy Hatterson. All right, pitcher Punchy Patterson's up. She'll foul that one back. Swings at the screwball, misses. Let's even get her on this one. Oh, that's hit. Figaro's there. He'll casually throw over for the routine ground ball out. Now batting, the left Slapper glue. Slapper <laughs> Perverted. That was a perverted slider. Oh, Guerra scared me there. I thought the ball was going past him. He'll flick it over the lethal. That's out number two. Here's Avenue Francis. We'll foul that up. She's going to fall down 0-2 in the count. I didn't want to throw a screwball. Oh, Stoke stopped it, but she won't be able to make the play. Had to bring up Ruby Green. That's what I get for not throwing the right pitch. That's the pitch I wanted to throw last time. If I'd have thrown it, it might have been a strike. Ooh, okay. Swing at it. Two and two, even the count up. Full count. Here's the payoff pitch. It's hit hard. Chan retreats. He'll make the catch. That retires the side. Turn of the order coming up for the Sirens of Green River. One nothing here. Guerra, Lethal D, and Grecian Chan. Rupert. Probably a player we won't be able to afford next season. But we'll do our best. We'll swing and miss at that high one. And one, good eye. And two. Get that pitch count. So Patterson is a uh, K collector. He'll foul that one off. Hard hit, but right at Ruby Green. She'll field that with ease. One away. Here's Lethal D feline. Yeah, I made the bottom of the bat orange instead of the top one because I was in a hurry. Hard hit, but early on it. Fouls it off to the right. One and one. Hard hit. Goes through the pitcher. There's another base hit for Lethal. Right fielder, number 
17, Grishan Chan. Oh, how did I miss that? Oh, and goes, oh, my Lord, what a hit. Colonists almost got to that one. There's only 26 of them. Rip Dingers can launch one now. This would be a game changing. Oh, my God, go ahead. Gobsmacked, hit a 500 foot plus home run. How far did he hit it? 5'11, let's go! A three run shot, put it on the board! Sirens lead! Three one, sirens jump on top of the snow foxes. Rip Dinger sat back and waited on it. Right down the pipe, slow and steady wins the race. Achievement unlocked, 5'11, let's go. That was the worst pitch that she could have thrown to Rip Dingers. That was 99 power too, I just missed it. One and two. That ball's hit hard too, but I don't think it's going to make it. No, Gordon Fruitwell chases it down. Figueroa, 0 for 1 today. He's going to get a base hit. That's the only thing I regret. I know they sped this game up for the online play, but sometimes you don't even get to enjoy like the home runs and stuff because it goes so quickly in between scenes. Yeah, that 5'11", that's the farthest home run I've hit on this game. Ooh, and Annabelle, she's been tearing it up here lately. Two on now with two outs. Now batting, the center fielder, number Let's see what Tish Ballin can do. Ballin. Tish Ballin's going to ground out the first. But yeah, that pitch to rip... Right down the wind, right, right down the pipe. That that one probably needs to be uh, put in Discord because that that's the farthest home run we've seen hit. Graham Vanek and Fruitwell do up here. We'll see how Rupert pitches now that he's got a lead. Not good. These are bouncing all over the place. Ooh, that one's gone, isn't it? Yep. Well, they get one back there. 400 feet exactly. Graham's second home run of the season is third RBI. Makes it 3 2. Had to bring up Colonist. He's one. She's one for one today. I think that's a she. Who am I to assume anymore? One and one evens the count up. That was a dirty changeup. One, two pitch. Down goes Colonus on strikes. Swing and a miss. The center field, number 47, Gordon Fruitwell. Gordon Fruitwell been playing some solid defense. I, I think Gordon Fruitwell used to look a lot older, though. They kind of made him look a little bit better. He's going to fall down 0-2 in the count as well. Let's see if Rupert goes at him. He does. Swing and a miss. Strike three. He set down two this inning. Number three, Jose Tremendo. Jose Tremendo. Down ball. Rip Dingers. Throws him out. That'll take us to the bottom of the fourth. I think I just stretched my eyeball. Not my eyeball, but the skin around my eye. It's like hurting now. Senorio, Guerrera, and Lethal D do up. Lethal's two for two. Riz, OGS here. Gunnery Sergeant, Senaro. He'll take ball one. Ball two. 
Runs right down the gullet. Two and one. He goes after that one. Colonist couldn't get to it. Missed odds, 69%. I mean, if you're going to miss on odds, that's the one to miss. This will be the pitcher Rupert Guerra up. Oh, he put a lot. Oh, they're playing up. Does it drop? Does it drop? It drops. Oh, my God. The pitcher gets it over the formation shift, brings in a run. It's 4-2 Sirens. They brought their in or outfield in, and he hit over top of it. Or two now. Lethal gets a hold of that one. It's headed toward the wall off the top of it. Lethal's going to have to retreat back. It will score a run. An RBI single for Lethal Feline. Oh, I'm, you're done. I really didn't think she'd go on the first one. Lethal's aggressive. We have to let Lethal fly. That's all there is to it. You all don't understand. Lethal is a feral cat and must run. Oh my god. Rip Dingers puts it on the board. His second home run, ninth of the season, his 17th RBI. Holy cow. Maybe I need to put the ego up on the hitting. I don't know. Well, that sound, that's going to be fair. Then again, it is just Rip doing it. Junior Young Senior, Punchy Patterson, and Slapper Glute do up. 6-2 now. Number four, junior, young, senior. Oh, then again. Oh, Tish Ballin, she good effort, but she's not going to be able to make that play. She'll throw it in. That holds him to a double. Now batting, the pitcher, number 11, Punchy Patterson. Now batting. They're gonna, oh, they're bringing in Chili Little. Check it out. Love to see him. He's a mind gamer. What's that? The opposing pitcher suffers 15 accuracy off. You're in Chili Little. Oh, <laughs> I was like, wait a second. That sounds like a Wrath of the Lich King guild. Swing and a miss. Chili Little sits down. He didn't cook long enough. Had to bling up Slapper Glute. One for two today. And honestly, we've got such top tier pitching on our first two pitchers. That's why we uh, tend to win those games. Set him down. Good Lord, that was... Francis, she's on fire. Swing and foul that one off. Swing and a miss on that one. Oh, we're going to get her to chase. Chase the screwball. Oh, Rupert's starting to fill it now. Let's go. Chilly Little out. They're going to bring in Chiron Throne. He has a 0.00, .00 ERA, one strikeout. He's side-eyeing everybody. 
Figueroa, Stokes, Tish do up here in the bottom of the fifth. It's 6 2. Sirens holding the lead here at home. Uh, yeah. Hard hit ball. It gets through. That's a base hit for Figueroa. Hey, the new Ghostbusters looks good, too. But I'm not going to spend $1,700 on a parka that everybody's going bonkers about. Unless you all want to donate to that. Ooh. Oh, if that drops. If that drops... She has been meticulous. The red coats that the parkas, the red parkas they're wearing in the trailer are $1,700 a piece. And evidently the Ghostbusters cosplayers are, are well, they were $1,200 and the demand has went up so much that they went up to $1,700 and now I think they're topping at $2,000 a piece because the demand's so high. Oh, they got me again. How did he time that? I think the computer cheats. Tish Ballin pops it straight up. Here, I'm like, maybe I should raise up the hitting ego. I'm not good at hitting. I'm getting too good at hitting. And then I do that. Tyrone throne. Hard hit ball, but it's right to Colonist. Colonist throws. That's out number three. That will end the inning. We head to the sixth. Part of the lineup due up for the Snow Foxes. They got to get back in this when they're down four on the road. Green, Graham, and Vanek due up. Well, there was Parkas in the... Evidently, this movie is based off some of the cartoons of the real Ghostbusters. So, there was red coats on some of the episodes that they wore. Which I was a big fan of the real Ghostbusters cartoon show. Especially the episode where Peter tells the story when they like... Um, it, it's like the continuation of right after they fought Gozer. And then it... It's them coming back from that battle, and the episode takes place. Yes, that's it. That's a great episode. I actually thought that would have been cool for them to do something like that. Oh, what a catch by Eduardo Figueroa. And to bring up Colonist, number 69, but still batting one or 378 for the season, one for two today. Takes that strike there, though. Colonist, not even swinging. Swings on that one, makes me eat my words. That's a hit to center. So, in a 6 2 game with two outs, Colonist gets a base hit and is on first. Well, they know everybody's looking at it now, Reaver. Evidently, somebody who leads like the Ghostbusters cosplay, whatever immediately emailed that company and said, hey, is this the, your coat that's in the movie? And they emailed back saying, hey, good eye. Yes, that is our coat. Here's a link to it. We did let the constru the movie crews tinker with it to make it different. So the one in the movie is different. Great swing and a miss there. Great pitch by Rupert. Rupert Guerra, Lethal D, and Grecian Chan coming up. I mean, it looks great, but I, in my life, unless I win the lottery, I'm not spending almost $2,000 for a coat. I mean, I could go visit the top of the Rockies and probably not need a $2,000 coat. Then again... Oh, the pitcher, Rupert Guerra, puts a hit on it. They weren't playing up this time. Lethal, I, I, I bought 
I'm actually charging the batteries on it. You can laugh at me if you want. I I didn't get a GoPro, but I got the Action 4. Um, then I'm going to actually start traveling around and recording stuff. But I kind of got to learn a little bit more about it and stuff to do. Because I actually want to like go camping and do things. Uh, so I'm kind of really excited about that. Oh, lethal! Did he get the blue hit? Nope. Colonists keeping lethal in check. Um, Reaver. I'm from the state of Kentucky. Most animals, besides bear, don't attack the human and make it out without something put back into them. And I don't mean that perverted at all. We defend ourselves. I'm in which year? Oh, a comebacker. He'll knock it down and throw it over and in the inning. Check out Roar Sports if you're looking for retired old athletes, rambling and gambling. We go to the seventh. Jose Tremendo, junior and senior, senior and Chiron thrown up. Sirens still lead by four. Do not the animals. No, the bears in Kentucky are pretty legit. Like, they are not scared of humans at all. You carry bear mace with you when you go out. But other stuff, that's what weaponry is for. It's a bird trained by Reaver to come hunt me down. And he'll make it like a federally protected bird, so I can't defend myself. Woo! Swing and a miss. Junior Young Senior sits down. Will they leave Chiron? What is he, nervous? They are. They are changing here. Angela Dalton, the big hack. Plus 20 power, negative 10 contact on certain counts. She's got a 211 average, one home run, two RBIs. They're trying to bring the game closer here. In my neighborhood, I don't ever see any Blue Jays. And I've only seen one Cardinal in three years. It's all the other birds, Robins, and I forgot what the other one is. I know I've had this conversation on stream before. Struck her out. Linus Digby coming in the relieve now. He's got a 0, 0, 0 ERA. I wonder. See, this is where I wished it told how many innings they pitched. Like, I feel like that's a quality of life thing we should have. So I know if those numbers matter. Rip Dingers coming up first. Buck Swiner and Eduardo Figueroa. Dingers, three for three today. Two home runs. Can he make it three or will they intentionally walk him? I'm going to bet on the ladder. Now batting a third baseman, number 90, Ramp Dangers. Nope, they're going to pitch to him. He'll take strike one. Oh, he didn't. Colonist is going to get ripped. He does. One away. Two home runs, and he gets thrown out in his... Mojo goes down. That's ridiculous. Now Buck is having a rough day. He's 0 for 3. Come on, Buck. 1 and 1. Evens the count up. Oh, that'll be a base hit. That'll play. That was just like Goff. He put it in the fairway. Luke. That's a ball hit into the gap. Eduardo Figueroa. We were a little nervous about him earlier in the season. He's been coming on. Hard hit, but that could be a double play. There's one, and there's two, and that's a 4-6-3 double play to end the inning. We'll head to the eighth. Top of the order due up for the Snow Foxes. Glute Francis Ruby Green. Loot. 
All right. Um, Guerra is getting a little tired, so we'll have to be careful. So we can get ahead in the count here. O2 pitch. Fooled him. Strikes him out. Gotta bring up Avenue Francis. She's two for three today with two singles. Uh, no. I don't sing and I don't dance. And I don't remember the lyrics at all. You all should know this. Tish Ballin on the run makes the catch. Two away. Now batting the first baseman, number one, Ruby Green. Uh, there's not enough points or drakes in the world for that to happen. I mean, if you want to buy me a $1,700 jacket, we'll talk about it. <laughs> oh, that ball almost killed uh, Rupert. So they get one on with two outs. That brings up Charlie Graham. Number 36, Charlie Graham. That's popped up. It goes out of play. So 0 2. It's getting to chase a fastball. Charlie, you're not listening. Charlie bit my finger. He didn't bite on the pitch, though. Oh, Charlie, what are you doing? We're going to get him right here. Change up slow. That's uh, terrible. Oh, he fouled that off. Um, I don't even know where to go now. Um, Screwball. Frozen like Elsa. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth. Annabella Stokes, Tishballin, and Grizz Signoro do up. I was frozen today. Now batting. Second baseman, number 29, Annabella Stokes. Hey, Makatayuki, how are you doing? So Annabella Stokes stepping up today. She's been hitting well lately, too. We'll have a 1-1 one, one count. She'll try to bloop that one over, but it looks like uh, Graham will get that. So that brings up Tish. Tish is just terrible at hitting for some reason. 0 for 3. And she's going to be 0 for 4 at the end of this game. Her contact. We've got to get something to get her contact up. And Grizz, man, and see, he's a person who plays way above his stats. I just don't get it. But that's the way it is. I'm actually, do we let Rupert stay in for the complete game or do we take him out? He's at 97 pitches. You can see his stamina there. He is on fire, but... Give the boy the game. Man, that's... All right, we'll even let him power swing here. Whoa, 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 what was that? Tweak, tweak groin. Oh no, Grizz got hurt. Well, we have to bring... You know what, I'm actually about to leave him in there. I don't think it's gonna matter. And he'll swing and miss. All right, so calling us a chance to keep his team in it. Gordon Fruitwell and Jose Tremendo. Holy. What, what's flashing lights do to you? They give you seizures? Holy seizure. Good Lord. Did you all see that? Like the scoreboard exploded or something. Calling us two for three today. Let's see if we can... That falls foul, thankfully. It's gonna be this, he's, his his accuracy is way off right now. That's gonna be a walk. Now 
Gordon Fruitwell. Gordon Fruitwell. Fruitwell hits that one. Chan. <gasps> what is it with him? Why won't he? He just stopped. That's the second time it's did that where I've held the button down and he stops when he goes to make the catch. Yeah, I think I might have to take him. Oh, yeah. He just, his stats just collapsed. Um, Smack Avery bringing him in. Yeah, evidently this umpire is not going to give us any calls. They have lots of speed on. Oh, what a double play by Rip Dingers. Number four, junior, young senior. Oh, my God. Terrible throw. He steps on the back, throws it as hard as he can. And it comes down to junior, young, senior. Let's we'll swing on that one. Fouls it back. Sirens looking for the win. Smack Avery. Not a not a save situation. We're just keeping him in the flow. And he'll freeze him. And the Green River Sirens win. He's frozen. Like Elza. What a pitch. What was that? A hundred and what miles per hour? I mean, if you take that second, third, I mean, it was Rip Dingers today. Rip Dingers has got to be the player of the game. Three for four, two home runs, four RBIs. Damn it, Reaver. You might, you might kill me on this one. I might not make it through these. There's supposed to be a limit to those. Hunchy Patterson, four innings pitched, 12 hits, six earned runs, two home runs given up. Her ERA shoots up to 562. She'll get her second loss of the season. Kyrone Throne and Digby come in and did four solid innings of work, only giving up four hits between the two of them. No runs, though. Rupert Guerra gets his third win of the season. He's got a 1.57 ERA now, eight innings pitched, 10 hits, two earned runs, 11 strikeouts, give up one home run. Smack Avery comes in, inning pitched, one strikeout, no save credited to him. Rip Dingers is indeed your player of the game, Rupert Guerra, and Lethal D Feline. Uh-oh. Who is on shower drain duty this week? I hate these. People are already complaining about these in the uh, in Reddit because they're so like devastating. I mean, Annabella Stokes is the, she's got perfect loyalty, but. What do y'all think on that one? Almost hit the mic, that would've been great. Yeah, 21 is a bit much. If you're going to see the blowfish at Swagger Center, remember to take your I think I did too many. I mean, unless you're watching from your yacht That's fine, though. the pricey seats, of course. Uh, Annabelle, you're all saying. seats with the rest of us, bring that gull blocker. Or, you know, roll the dice, take your chances. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Let's jam. I know we're going to get another one. No, what happens is this changes the odds. So now that her thing is 78, that means at the end of the season, you either give her the raise that she earned 
or whatever that number is, that's the percentage or some form of it that they'll sign for that same price that you paid them this season. So let's say she's making 5 million, but if she improves during the season, she may want 6.7. You can either go ahead and give her the raise or you take a chance and say she's got 78 loyalty and it'll roll one to 70, you know, one to hundred. And if it's in that 78, you keep her for the same price. If not, she declines the sign and she goes free agent. All right, I'm going to start this up here, and we'll see. Uh, you all let me know if anything fun happens. I do squat. Sirloin's got blown out. Gecko's got blown out. The Royals just cannot win. Oh, Brisbane lost to a divisional opponent. The superior bird one, the penguins. The lorikeets have that run difference, though, on them. DC winning a game. The geckos lose another one. Heat's team coming back. Texarkana got a win. Molo's team got obliterated. Hmm. So we have the best record in the league. We're on a four game road trip now too. On the road at New York, two divisional games against Tucson, and then we go to Tijuana. We have a game to decide whether we get rid of Ray Wilcox or not. I'm debating turning the hitting up one. But I'll let you all debate that. Yeah, this song's terrible. Um, well, it's on 77 right now. We're almost back up to Super Mega Baseball 2 standards, or 3. My friends at the dinner party will never know it wasn't homemade. Or I could... <laughs> it was Callie's chocolate... I could turn pitching bottle. up one. It's edible -less. I don't know. I feel like we're hitting so much now, though. Like, what's the averages on our team? And that's about as far as the story can go without the sensor suspending me. Again, maybe I should start a podcast with these three. Uh. Let's jam. Do I, though, Makatiyuki? From 77 to 78. I mean, I guess the, uh, I mean, I guess I could just turn the pitching up, though. 
It's 73. That would make it a little bit better for them to make. Whoa, Rupert Guerra, the 19-year-old, picked up six accuracy. Look at all these terrible things. Meltdown, Butterfingers. A private chef for Stump. He could get a screwball for a million dollars. I feel like I have to do that one. All right, so he's going to get another accuracy. He'll get two velocity. He didn't get extra accuracy. Come on, get the screwball. Get the screwball. Nope. Oh, well, he gets some loyalty. 20 loyalty on that. Unfortunately, there's not one here for like some of the players we need to like bring their thing up. Um, let's see. Anybody let go? Elaine Munstar is giving the pitching machine a run for its money. So she picked up four velocity. Chan picked up one, one speed by buying new shoes. And nothing, the, the computer's not doing anything right now. Check out League Leaders. Stump Juarez, Rupert Guerra, and Rip Dingers are all up for Player of the Year. Damian Dela Cruz and Alicia Woodrow are there. That's your MVP race. Rick Snyder, that's a viewer, is uh, batting 439 and just behind Ron Driver for the batting average prize. Um, so Eccentric will be very happy about that. Rip Dingers is leading the league in home runs. And runs batted in. Is there anybody else that was on there for... See colonists down there on on base percentage. Rick Snyder on on base and slugging. Rick Snyder for hits. Stolen bases, lethal. Oh, it's lethal. Annabella Stokes and then Lola. Asher Ryan's on there with five. Rick Schneider, Nick uh, Manskinitis. I'm always going to say that last name wrong. Rupert Guerra with three wins up there on the top. Cayman with three saves. Your eardrums with not seen anybody else on the ERA or for pitching from Tyco headphones and try tinnitus tonight. Uh, see, two of our pitchers had the most strikeouts. Shaman with 24 strikeouts. Wins game tickets. These ones are for the overdogs game tonight. Here's a hint for you it's obviously one of two things, but not the one you're thinking of. She's 7.2. She's still 0.5 over. We still got this game to go and then we can decide. Remington Sharp up there. 11.4 million. Buzz past him. We can always get to get Chance Lauderberry.
This game has definitely took the way it's programmed as Major League Baseball, where they swing for the fences or strike out. I've noticed that with a lot of players.